change, I wanted to make sure that Anthony Tussler, my co-curator, gets a chance to talk about his involvement with the show and since 2015. I've, I've got a funny kind of unique role to play here. I, uh, one of the first calls that uh, Laura put out, like Molshi, I, I was excited to see it. And also kind of like, what can I do? I'm a photographer. I'm not a, a, a sculptor. I really, I have yet to come up with anything that I feel like fits in opulent mobility. But what I wanted to do was, I've been working in the disability rights movement since the early 1970s and had a, a major art show in the early 80s that was disability related art. And one of the things that we did in that show was it wasn't about whether the artist had a disability or not, it was whether the piece reflected the disability experience or disability politics. So like Moshi's piece, even though she doesn't come from the disability community, you know, is a perfect example of broadening the whole field and the way to see things. And really the major role that I've been playing with Laura, besides being encouraging, is when she goes, well, I'm not too sure about this piece. And I go, you're right, it's crap. It's inspiration <laughs> porn. You know, we really should not have this in the show. You <laughs> slipped one by me a couple of years ago. There's a butterfly. Oh, I'm you know? so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it was a, and I knew, I knew it was going to be trouble. It was a, uh, you know, it was some person that, uh, it was an animation that then turned into a butterfly. And you got great press and every goddamn article used that as the illustration <laughs> for the article, like, which uh, misses opulent mobility uh, entirely. Uh, or it doesn't. It was, it was a good idea, but it was a good idea, and you know, if it had remained just a <laughs> tiny piece, it would have been fine. It is hard to understand how the world and media jumps on disability <laughs> if you haven't been doing it for a long time, you know. And the way you've got to be really careful about inspiration porn. I'm really pleased that the the phrase inspiration porn was coined because it really explains so much. <laughs> And Molshi's piece is a sh such a good shift away from the way we view prosthetics. I mean, one of the worst inspiration porn is that uh, that poor unfortunate runner in uh, South Africa who competed in the Olympics. He's a double amputee. There's a photo of him and, he, and he, he's running and he's with a little girl who's a double amputee. And it says the only disability is your attitude which is complete crap. Disability is about the way the world sees us people with disabilities and stereotypes us and categorizes us and puts us off to the side. So I would love to go on for hours and hours, but I'm not gonna. So so I'm just mostly here to, to provide kind of some historical perspective, I think, for Laura more than almost anything. And, and to really say, no, your instincts are absolutely right here. I mean, Laura has great instincts around this stuff. You know, you say, what about this? I'm not too sure. And I'm, you're right. Out. <laughs> you know, we don't throw out a lot, but enough. I'm really proud of the show and proud of the work that you've done. And I, I truly believe that the work we're doing now in the disability community is around the arts. That's how we're going to change the world and change how people see us. We keep working on the laws. We keep working on a lot of things. Uh, I'm looking forward in the United States to the new administration, Biden's administration, because they're going to be much more disability friendly. <laughs> uh, I'm already started hearing about some of his appointments and it sounds good. Yeah. But the arts is where we're really making movement, whether it's writing, the visual arts, podcasts, performance. I mean, it's a, it's a rich world. And uh, I did want to say that uh, I've been putting my photos on Instagram and meeting uh, disabled photographers around the world, and it's wonderful. You know, as much as I hate Facebook, I love Instagram. So, ah, thank you so much. If you ever want to check out his photography, um, you can go to aboutdisability.com. There's some wonderful stuff, including like photos of the first protests that really got the ADA started. So, great historical reference.